Good everybody and welcome to this Blender Grease Pencil Tips video. Right now I'm almost done with an animation and I decided to show you how I go about coloring it. So this is how far I've gone. <coughs> so this is how far I've gone so far I'm pressing the up key to go through the keyframes and um, at this point now to make this animation to start the cloning process process you're gonna need to isolate the areas you're going to isolate the layers that you you want to work with because leaving all of them visible would cause a lot of problem because of the way because of the way grease pencil works now for example let me take it to a new frame and press alt i pressing alt i creates a new keyframe in grease pencil and in um, pose mode if you're using rigs and stuff like that so let me explain why I isolated the layers now for example how the painting system in grease pencil works is you can't paint directly on the line art I will show a different method of painting when when I work on my next animation and I believe that one is a lot faster but for and if you've seen my old grease pencil tutorial you will know that method I'm talking about but I'm going to explain how I how you can paint using the lines now as you can see the <coughs> in grease pencil you can't paint directly on the line art let me show you an example see it goes okay this is not the line art sorry <clears throat> now this is the line the line art of this character you paint it and the grease pencil eats up the lines you can't see it anymore well, once it does that and so you have to create a layer under the line art that is cut fill and then click on it the grease pencil is still recognizing the line even though, it's not on, even though it's not on the layer and it then fills it on the fuse layer and then preserving the lines and zooming in will increase the accuracy at which the grease uh, as which the fuel to works now as you can see in this area since the um, with the way grease pencil feels and with the way grease pencils feel to works you can't feel this parts the, you can't feel the line out when other liners are visible too because they also interfere with it like this um, the double D character is on a different layer I'm trying to feel it while it's visible though it won't it just won't work so when filling you press this button like the, the line art you want on the line art you want you press this button here to isolate it and you go below to the fill layer you want and toggle the visibility you don't need to you need this line art locked and need the fill the area that you're working on that is the fill layer unlocked now the reason that you you leave them unlocked is in case you need to like sorry I went all right I hit the tab key to enter into edit mode 
Now in edit mode you can just select Now before In the release Previously in the release of Grease Pencil press, um, Pressing it Pressing a ver and clicking on the vertex and pressing and hitting the L key. Wow, it does work. Hmm. This is weird. It it wasn't working a few builds ago. I think this is the latest build. I got this build on October first, which is my birthday month. Which is my birthday month. So I got this build on October first. So I think it fixed the problem. Previously it doesn't it wasn't working. Now just pressing the clicking on a vertex and on a grease pencil vertex and pressing the L key, it isolate it selects the um, island or the vertex island. Now before when when it wasn't working. How did I do it? Ah. All right, no, no, no. Sorry. Before, before it worked like this. Pressing the Alt, 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 and clicking it selects everything. Yes, that that that's what it did before. Alt clicking selects the island, but now you have to press it. You have to click a vertex and press the L key to select that entire island. Ah, I've been working so much on it, uh, I forgot I took the new method as the old method. <laughs> Weird. So I'm just going to pause the video and keep working. Then when I come across a new tip, I will record it and share it with you guys. And um also is there any other thing to say all right so hello agorex here and i encountered i came across a problem using the grease pencil that i want to explain how i get around it now this is the using the fill tool i will try to fill this part of the character and you notice what happened it filled every visible part on the screen and the fill tool this is what I forgot to explain the fill tool it works with visibility if that's a way to put it it fills area that are visible in the viewport not in camera in the viewport as long as it's visible in the viewport, it fills it. Let me let's go over here and try. See, it fills this area, but once it's out of the viewport, it doesn't fill it anymore. So you just have to manually fill it until you fill the whole thing. Now you think it is slow. It's kind of slow, but it was a lot harder before 2.8 because fill we didn't have a fill tool. You had to use the old method of coloring that I did bef that I used, which I will show you in the next tips video. Because that old method seemed to be a lot faster than this one. Faster in general, you can use it in any 2D program. Um, Creator, I, I don't think Opportunes does it, but you can use it in Creator. So anyway. This is the problem we're having now. The whole, the whole feeling of outside of the line art stuff. Now, how to fix this? Now, the the problem with this is um, proximity. Proximity. I think that's what I'm the word I'm looking for. Because it happens because you're zoomed in too close to the line art. And it doesn't happen all the time, just in a particular part of the drawing. Sometimes just in a particular parts of the drawing, when zooming in, can break the fill tool. Now zooming out a lot will fix it. 
you know you can feel it but zooming out a lot sometimes you won't want to do it because the feeling precision and um, precision tends not to work and it, it seems to feel and sorry the reason that this line is behaving this way is because of this I set it on overlay put it on regular the line is black it doesn't affect the line so the reason the line changes color is because it's on overlay and I like to use it for this animation now let's explain something else now in case you don't want to zoom out and you want to keep that precision even because because the way of the way you're working is different than mine or in case it happens in a drawing in the part of the drawing that you really need that precision you feeling it see zooming this close feeling it um, you see the problem so you can hold out while on the feel to holding out sorry control and dragging the key you create a line I think this line doesn't have thickness that's the difference between using the pen pen to the thickness the stroke sorry the stroke is this stuff so holding out doesn't create that stroke yes look <coughs> turning turning the stroke off and on oh it works sorry it creates the stroke ah I don't even know what I'm talking about anyway so creating that feel guard or edge and then filling it you notice the problem goes away it doesn't feel outside the <coughs> you notice the problem goes away it doesn't feel outside the line art anymore because of that edge you created you can you can go back and try to feel it it works this time wow this program is so <laughs> it's so weird let's try it again okay it's 40 I think zooming in and you can you can also experiment zoom in oh it's not working again why 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 did it stop ah it's not working so in case it's not that consistent for you just create an edge here holding control while on the fill tool and then you see it feels and you can still be zoomed in and feel ah it's not working here so you can just zoom out a little and feel it and everything is filled so I'm gonna stop the recording here and work and once I come across another problem that I know how to solve I'll, I'll record it again and tell you guys how I solved it again and I want to try to explain something before I wrap up the video I think this will be the last thing I will say alright it's about this you notice when I use the filter it feels because this is when I use the filter you notice this and I explained is because I use the overlay and that's why you can see it but the reason that the feel the reason the feel exceeds this limit is because of this the thickness and then put it back to the overlay and try to do it again oops I could use the L the control L I oh, you know what let me just use the control L sorry the L key alright so the field is set at 5 at 5 um, pixels if you reduce it down to 1 you will notice the difference 
Now, the reason that you can't notice it too much is because this is a very small part of the drawing in the grass scheme of things. So if you increase this number, the stroke of this material gets bigger and covers a lot of space. Let's increase it to 20. There, and we'll try it again. But not to see. And that's the stroke that got big. So that thickness is actually the stroke size. The thickness is actually the stroke size of the material. So I'm going to go back to 5 that we used to. And another thing, I noticed this option recently when I was working, when I was coloring this project. I'm not really sure what it does. I increase this to, I don't know what them just did. Increasing it to 5 and using the fill tool, it takes a lot of time to calculate for it to fill this space. I'm not really sure what it does, but maybe my next tips video when I use it more often I can explain what it does or something. I would think the resolution size will stop the filter from affecting this inner region. But it can just still fill it in. You can still fill it in though. I uh, expect it to stop but it didn't do that so I don't know what the function is maybe maybe in future videos I will figure it out and explain to the rest of you so right now take it back to one and I think the thing increases the yeah look the dots the vertex of this paint looks very thick and I think that's why it took time to calculate. So I'll just delete it and use the simple. Oh, huh, you know, let me try it first. Let's use the simpler version. And go over to the dot. Ah, it's still the same. So I don't really know what it does. Well, and that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. God bless.